Hey everyone, it's Annika and today is a very exciting video. I love watching these videos. I spend most of my time on YouTube watching these videos so it's my first time ever to do it and I'm so excited. The other day I went to the mall, specifically Chinook Mall here in Calgary. So the reason why I actually went shopping is because I've been kind of sad lately. How else do you answer sadness but with retail therapy? <laughs> So that's what I did. I am amazing at shopping, by the way. If you know me personally, you know I never buy anything at full price. I'm always just like shopping when it's on sale. I don't know why I don't like paying for anything full price. It's just, why would I pay full price when I know I can get it cheaper, right? I guess we should start this haul. Okay, so I'll be showing you items I bought in order when I got to the mall. I have been wanting to visit a bookstore in so long because like I love going to bookstores. I just love browsing the aisles, looking for a good book, if something's interesting, if something's new. I don't know, I just love bookstores. So the place is called Chapters and I only got to buy one book. So I bought this because I read this before and I love the book so much but it actually it's my first time seeing this cover on the book so I was like oh my gosh I have to have it. So this is 1984 by George Orwell. See look at this cover. I've never seen this cover. I got it on sale for six dollars. I know it's not that interesting yet but it will get more interesting. So the next store that I went to I actually went to H&M but like nothing was nothing was nice and then I also went to Zara. Actually, they pronounce it differently here. They say Zara. So I went to Zara. A lot, a lot, a lot of summer stuff. Literally, like, all the crop tops, all the sleeveless tops, all the flowery, whatever, skirts. Everything was colorful. And as much as I love them, as much as I wanted to buy them, I know I wouldn't be able to wear them here. So I was just like, you know, never mind. Maybe next time. So I kept walking and walking and just looking at the different stores. And I came across this store called... I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's called... Arden. Arden whatever it's kind of like cotton on back home it's a pretty big bag so the first thing i got here actually here i got a new phone case i broke my phone case um this is yeah this is just it it's a pretty cute phone case right it's just like shiny and stuff see look green red green i got this for like seven dollars so in the philippines that's 280 pesos which is not so bad for a phone case, right? It's like roughly the same price back home. After that, I saw like the accessories place. So I actually left my belt in the Philippines, which kind of sucks because I just bought that belt and I love that belt and I don't have any belts now. So I just found like these two belts. So I got this like thick belt that has, it's kind of like a, I don't know, is it like a fog? crocodile skin kind of thing i don't know i'm not good with leather but i wanted a thicker one for like my thicker jeans and i also got a thinner one just like a normal fall leather whatever and the buckles are just like this i just needed it for like you know for my pants because i need something to hold my pants up so i got both of these for 11.90 so roughly 12 dollars each and yeah so that's the second thing i got from ardeen arden this shop and then the third thing so they had a lot of sweatpants i love sweatpants so i got these two shades and this one i've been looking for forever like this shade i love the shade of brown and i've been trying to find the shade of brown for the longest time so um i finally got a pair and these are like this slouchy joggers and i also got this color so stay tuned for this but this is just close to the color that i've been looking for but this is just like a beautiful beautiful forest green it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like swamp green color and they're actually the same i just got them in two colors so i got each of these for 26.90 not too bad for sweatpants that's all i got at ardeen arden at the shop and also this bag. This was like a $2 reusable bag. On to the next. So right after I went to Ardeen, Arden, I was just walking around, walking around, and I ended up at a Foot Locker. And then this is what I got in Foot Locker. Just like one item. So I used to work at Shopee back home in the Philippines, and I just have like this weird affinity for orange already. I feel like it's because I've seen a lot of orange working there. And when I saw this, I was like, wow, that is like the cutest sweater. So I got this Nike sweater in Shopee Orange. Like, look at that. Shopee Orange. And I, I love getting sweaters in a bigger size. So it's like oversized because I don't like wearing fit stuff. I like I like being warm and cozy. I only got it for like $55. So I think that's fine for Nike though, right? These, these things, these basic ones are so hard to find back home. And I don't know why. Right after Foot Locker, 
I was walking and walking and walking and I found Sephora. So this was my first time actually shopping at a Sephora here in Canada. And I got two tiny bags. So this is the first bag. Um, the f one of the first things I got was this Mario Badescu. Wait, let me just do it like a vlogger. Like, yeah. This Mario Badescu facial spray. So apparently you can use this for like as a setting spray also. But I really wanted it because it's so dry here in Canada. I wanted to have something to just spray on every time, you know, I'm feeling kind of, my skin's feeling kind of dry because you have to keep hydrating your skin here. So actually most of the stuff I got is like has that moisturizing element. So yeah, I got this one in lavender. I actually only know about the, the green one, the aloe vera. But I saw they had like four different kinds of things. So this one is aloe chamomile chamomile how, i don't know how you pronounce it and lavender and i love lavender so i'm excited to try this and also because i've never tried mario badescu ever i just know the kardashians use it so now i'm so excited i only got this for like 11 dollars, so this was 440 pesos crazy right the next thing we got is this innisfree volcanic clay mask so this one i really really use so i've been using this for years and it is literally my secret to good skin well i don't have the best skin but it really just helps my skin so this is the two times clearing one because there's a normal one and the two times is much stronger and i think i need the two times because i haven't been doing a lot of skincare since i got here and i've been here like almost a month already so i really need this next is we got this origins exfoliating exfoliator it's a scrub so normally i would use the skin food brown sugar exfoliating scrub but since i cannot find here this i heard good things about this so it's the polishing face scrub so it's kind of like this powdery i had to try it in the store so it's kind of like this powdery feeling but it feels like it really does exfoliate so i'm very excited to use this so the next thing we got is this bare minerals i think it's like a tinted moisturizer i got the vanilla 02 shade so i tried like different shades and i think vanilla is the one that works best with my skin so like i said it's very dry here so i've been trying to get everything with moisturizing components so my skin doesn't dry out so fast so and and i heard good things about this like i think this is vegan or something but Haley baldwin is the endorser and because we love justin bieber not Haley, we have to support the brand i also got another thing from bare minerals i got a lipstick i got this in the shade memory we'll now do the second tiny bag so doesn't look different but there's different stuff inside so i did not bring any of my eyeshadow palettes here because i was afraid you know it would just you know break on the way here because eyeshadow palettes are very fragile i saw all of those famous palettes but i was like i'm not even that good with makeup like i literally still apply eyeshadow with my fingers so i just got the normal like sephora eyeshadow palette so these are the actual shades and this is the palette wow that is like so pretty so that is just so pretty so i'm actually just into neutrals because like i said i'm not even that good with my makeup so this is more for like when i'm going out you know just put some color in there i try the next thing i got ooh, also mario badescu this one this is the thing i'm most 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 excited for so i've known this for years this is the mario badescu um clarifying lotion for acne so i don't get a lot of acne but when i do i hate it so much and it, it takes so long to just get out so i got like three pimples the other day so if you can see the marks they're just over there and i've known about this for years and the kardashians swear by this this is so expensive in rustans i think it's like one five in rustans so i got this in sephora for just like 800 pesos or even less yeah so i'm very excited to try this apparently it really takes out the acne overnight when you leave it on so we'll see how this works so i actually bought more skincare than makeup because like i'm not great at makeup anyway this is a brand that i haven't tried just because i know it's really good but it's really expensive but for some reason it's so cheap here it's so cheap and i was just like whoa i could finally try it now so the brand is the ordinary so this first one is a vitamin c moisturizing serum kind of thing so this one was just like five dollars why is it so cheap it's like thrice the price back home so i'm very excited for this because it's supposed to be brightening and moisturizing at the same time i also got the hyaluronic acid so this is apparently for hydration like strong hydration so i'm very excited for this also and i also got this freebie so it's like a 
It's a facial cleanser from this brand Rhone Alchemist. It's a facial wash. So I'm very excited to try these products. And then right after Sephora, I just kept on walking and walking until I went to their department store. So their department store here is called Hudson's Bay and the vibe is very much like Rostan's. So they have Topshop, Mango, Good American, all the kind of like fancier brands that we don't have back home. So basically it's not SM department store, it's really Rostan's. So when I was just walking there, just looking for stuff, um, a lot of stuff was on sale actually. They were on clearance and I was just walking until I got to the end of the store where there was like no people at all and it was the winter section. And the winter section was like 40 to 60% off on items and these were like winter coats, like thick ass winter coats. When I was looking around, they weren't just normal winter coats. They were like branded winter coats. So you have your Tommy Hilfiger, you have your Kate Spade, you have Michael Kors, you have Guess, all of that stuff. And I was just like, whoa, this is not some cheap ass stuff, huh? I actually have two bags from them because I bought two jackets. So this is the first bag. This is actually my favorite one. Actually, no, I also love the other one, but this is my favorite one because it was such a steal. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger bubble jacket. Just, just look at that. It's so it's so cute and it even has a hood. It has like the tiny Tommy Hill logo over there and you know the zipper has TH and like one thing I also love about this jacket is when you open it the pockets have the Tommy Hill logo so that's really really cute. You will not believe how much I got this. So this retails for $200 and I was ready to pay for it 60% off at 79.60 and this was the last piece. When I got to the counter I expected to pay $79.60 for this but they gave me another extra like 40% I think or like 30% and I just paid $47 for this. 47 The original price was 8,000 pesos. And I got it for less than 2k. Like, what? It's such a steal. And it's Tommy Hill. So I'm just like, this is good quality shit, man. And then I got another jacket. I feel like I need a thick ass winter jacket. So I have my coats and I have like my fluffy jackets, but it's not. That's just like Korea and Japan kind of winter, you know? It's not like Canada winter. So I needed to get like a full on um, winter jacket. Oh, it's huge. So this is my second bag. And it's from. It's from Guess. I'm also so obsessed with this. This is more of my style. So I'm just very more, I'm more into like the black. So it's just this huge puffer jacket with like some details on the side. For like a better fit. And just like you have like the Guess logo over there. And then you have this like all the fur on the hood. So when you open it, you have like this. Wow. It's just like so good it's so nice and it's so thick like when i wore this so i was just like sweating and it was already like really cold in there so i was like this is my winter jacket and i'm so excited for it so this one was originally three almost three hundred dollars when i got to the counter they gave me an additional discount so i only paid like 110 dollars for this that's like four thousand pesos i only paid one third the original price for this jacket so that's it for what i got in hudson's bay and then i thought i was done because i was already carrying so many bags but like one of the brands that i've been so excited to shop at here is aritzia and when i entered the store it was my first time to actually enter an aritzia store and i was like oh so aritzia has like has its own brand but it's also like made of a uh, made up of a lot of different brands and i saw oh my gosh so this is under one of their brands called tna and remember earlier when I showed you the sweatpants in green? Well, this is the shade that I actually have been looking for for so long. And when I saw it, I was just like, no, I cannot leave the store without it. So, oh my god, look at that color. It is a beautiful, beautiful forest green color. So I got a set. Look at that color. So I got the set and I know I said I don't buy anything at full price, but I just could not resist this. This is the joggers. And then I got, so I was talking to the sales lady there because she saw me just like contemplating because I really stood there for like 10 minutes and was like, should I buy this? Should I buy this? This is full price because it's just against me to buy things at full price. So I was like, ooh, and I couldn't decide if I wanted to get the crop sweater or the hoodie. So this is the, this is the sweater. I got it in medium and it's just like cropped over there, right? You can see that. And I'm so obsessed with the color. I love this color so much. This one was just a little over a hundred dollars, so I guess that's reasonable. And because I really wanted this, so I had to get it. So let me just try it on just to see how it looks and I guess show you guys, yeah.
that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching my first haul here in Canada. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If it's about like any of the items that I bought, about the mall, about me, whatever, let's just talk. That's fine with me. And please don't forget to like and subscribe down below to see more of me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ryan Little. <laughs>